everyone, my name is Wendy Lee and I'm a product marketer for Lightning. Today, I'm excited to introduce a new update to Console JavaScript API. The Lightning Console JavaScript API gives you programmatic access to Lightning Console apps so you can fully integrate Lightning Console apps with the Lightning Framework and extend them to meet your business. In Spring 18, we added the ability to use many of the classic Salesforce Console Integration Toolkit APIs in Lightning Console. Let's take a look. I've created a few demo pages. Let's first start with a Visual Force page. This is a simple Visual Force page that has two buttons. I'll show you what the actual code looks like. The first thing it does is check to see if I'm in the console app. And if I am, I display this additional section of controls. The first button opens a Heroku web page. This is a page I created in Heroku. It's very simple, but it's a completely external page. The second button simply closes the current tab. Let's try it out. You'll notice that the Heroku web tab opened and also has a couple buttons on it. One important thing to note is that in order to open a web tab in Classic Console, you need to add it to the whitelist in Setup. For Lightning Console, you need to make sure that you've added that domain to the CSP Trusted Sites list, which is also in Setup. So I've done that here. Now let's see what this Heroku web tab does. It's just a simple page. It's importing the console toolkit. The scripts itself are opening a sub tab to an account. You'll notice I specify the account record ID here just for this demo. And again, it's closing the tab. So let's try this out. There it is, our tab opened. I didn't specify that it was immediately focused. So that's why I loaded in the background. And again, the, the close tab button works. That's great. Now let's jump into Lightning Console to check out some of the new features that we get in Spring 18. What I'm going to do is open the exact same page. I made no changes. You'll notice that things work exactly the same in Lightning. The sub tab will open and immediately switch to it. Closing works. Basically, it just works. And this is what we set out to achieve in this release. We want to make sure that customers have to make as few modifications to their code in order to have their Visual Force pages and web tabs work in Lightning Console. And we're very proud with how close we've gotten. Just a reminder, the changes that you'll need to make is to use the latest version of the Toolkit API. And you'll need to consult the documentation to see the list of supporting methods in Lightning Console. Not every method from the classic toolkit will work in Lightning Console. Some of them don't apply. But those that do, we try to make sure that they work seamlessly in Lightning Console such that you don't need to make any changes to your code. We're excited to deliver this feature and we hope that saves you a lot of time. Thank you for joining me today and learning about new updates to Console JavaScript APIs. I hope you enjoyed this new feature and many others in Spring 18.